Hi, thanks for visiting my page, Wendell Woodworks. I'm Danielle, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get started on the scroll saw. Whether you have your setup already or you're just contemplating buying one, I wanna help you get started. I love the scroll saw because you can make unique, one-of-a-kind, special pieces by hand, and you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on a laser machine or an expensive computer. Um, this, what I have, is actually one of the cheapest scroll saws on the market. Um, this is a Porter cable, it's an 18 inch. It's usually on a stand, however, we're in between houses, so I've just got it parked on my table saw for today. Um, but it is important that you have it on something stable. There are much more expensive scroll saws on the market, if you're looking, that are going to be higher quality, um, they'll give you less vibration. Um, but in my opinion, when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, it has mostly to do with the blades that you use and your skill, which comes with practice. No matter what kind of scroll saw you have, you're not gonna make the perfect cut the first time or even the first 10 times. But every time you cut something, you're gonna get a little better, you'll cut a little bit straighter and smoother until you can start doing more complex items. Today, we're just gonna start with something very simple the heart cut out. So I'll get you started on that. Whenever you start a scroll saw project, the first decision you have to make is what material to use. When I was starting out, I got a lot of advice to try poplar wood because it's soft, it's easy to use, it's consistent, but it's expensive. And I did not want to spend money on something that was gonna be ruined that I thought I was just gonna practice on. So today I'm going to use pine. That's what I use to start out. You probably have some scrap pine in your house. I always have scrap pine. It's cheap. It's easy to find. So that's what we're going to use today. The second decision you have to make is what type of blade you're going to use. This is a matter of preference and with some experimentation and practice you'll kind of get your own favorite. The brand that I almost always use is the Olsen brand because it's the most accessible, accessible, normally the most affordable, and I always use the double reverse tooth. The reason I use double reverse tooth um, is because it cuts going down and up. If you don't use a double reverse tooth or a spiral blade, then the bottom of your piece is going to be really messy and you're going to have to do a lot of sanding when you're done. I almost always use the number five. For this thickness that I'm using today, I'm using a number five. If you're cutting with a uh, harder wood or you feel like it's not cutting smoothly enough or quick enough, you can bump it up to a number seven and see how that does for you. Then once you get it out of the package, um, something you can do if you have trouble with your blade slipping is just to take some sandpaper and lightly sand just the tops and the bottoms and this helps get rid of that factory oil and maybe rough it up just enough so that it sticks better. And when you're ready to put it in, make sure the teeth are facing you. Pop it in the bottom first. And tighten it up. You might feel like you need to over tighten, but don't over tighten because this can actually be bad for your scroll saw. So just make sure it's nice and snug. And the same with the top. Stick it in the top, tighten it up. And then comes your tension. Mine's at the top. You can actually lower the tension by going left and tighten it by turning it right. But set your tension so that it's nice and tight because if it's loose, it's not gonna cut straight. It's gonna vibrate too much. So you wanna make it nice and tight. You can kind of hear the tension there. Then you should also have a hose on your scroll saw to blow away the dust and a speed setting. My speed setting is on top. And when you're getting started, I would just start it in the middle and see how that feels. If you feel like it's going too fast and you wanna slow it down, go ahead and move it down. If you wanna speed it up, then you can turn it up to the higher speed. Just place it in the middle and see how that feels for you. And then you're ready to go. So what I did for our template today, I just printed off a heart. And I stuck it to the piece of wood that I was using, which was this scrap piece of pine, like I said. You can use contact paper for this, but something I do often is just apply painter's tape because it's normally on hand, and then glue your template to the painter's tape. I like to use a spray adhesive to do that with. Get it on your board, and then we are ready to start scrolling. When scrolling the heart, I decided to start at the point. 
This way, when I finish at the end coming from the other direction, the point will be nice and sharp. Simply move the wood against the blade, trying to follow the line on your template. If you find yourself veering off, you can simply move the blade backwards and start cutting the area again in the right spot. I should also point out here that you should always wear a mask to prevent dust inhalation, and safety glasses never hurt either. Had to give a safety shout out. When you reach points or tight corners, such as the dip of the heart, you can simply spin the wood quickly to stay on track. But if your blade doesn't allow for quick movement like this, then just take the blade back and come back at the same point from the opposite direction. All right, so now we've scrolled out our heart. You can go ahead and take the template off, the painter's tape off. You stand her up, paint her however you want, maybe gift it for Valentine's Day. Um, so this was just a fun little practice piece. Experiment, make whatever you want. You're gonna get better, and I can't wait to show you guys some more videos. So share with me in the comments what you liked, um, maybe what you would like to learn from my channel, and I will love to respond to you. I'm also gonna place the links to my blades and the stuff that I use in the description. So thank you all, have a good day, and have fun with your scroll saw.